6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please? Please? Madam, Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Madam President, is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Madam President! Madam President! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. identity and destination agent 54 level sub 49 voice recognition validated access authorized <sighs> today november 11 2038 is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors we've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps we won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. 
This bastard just spit an image. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Bill. we can do, all right? Come on. Out of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp.
position. Stand by. Follow me! We can't move forward! That machine gun is taking down everything that moves! In position. On my signal. In position. For Jericho! Stand by. In position. In position. Stand by. For Jericho! Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right, you win. Managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Don't move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right, 
Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're online. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They're absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. 
From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. We did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. They want you to speak to them. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free.